Can you run your easy runs too easy? And can you run your hard runs too hard? I got this question in the comments below. This week, my coach said I ran one of my easy runs too easy. This was after pacing my son to his 10K PB of 49 minutes. The total volume for me that day was 20K. For me, the 10K, so his son's PB, was in zone three. Can you run your runs too easy? I have two key sessions a week, long run on a Sunday and one complete rest day. Everything else is easy. So I'm taking that to mean that he's gone out and run his son's PB, 49 minutes, and made that into a 20K day great marathon session or half marathon session or even 10k session but then the body's a little bit beaten up I'm assuming from that it has to be a little bit beaten up if he's gone into zone three for 10 kilometers so the next day always go precariously but how slow or how easy is too easy you have to and first of all when you're with a coach you've got to put full trust in the coach and, and it's a little bit like recruiting for your company. If you've been involved in an interview process and you've taken somebody on and they've interviewed two or three times and then, and then they're not performing three months or six months down the line, you have to take part of the responsibility for that. It's exactly the same if you kind of vet a coach and they're not right for you or they don't have a clear understanding of where you're at and where you're going and what your day looks like, what your week looks like and a training schedule, then I give the coach some time on this and sort of try to understand what he means by that, what he or she means by that. What I'd be wanting to know is how do you feel? And in a day where kind of everything's automatically uploaded from the watch to your software to, okay, what is the heart doing? What was the effort? What is the pace doing? And taking it out of context, you can look at that as an isolated session and think, well, wow, it's too slow and it's too low effort. But you might have gone out there, walked for three to 500 meters like I do, and then thought, I feel tense, feel tender. I'm just gonna sort of try to run a little bit and then stopped, walked, stretched. That for me is accelerating your recovery. And the session the day before, that 10K in zone three, that is not complete until you've done your rest day and recovery days at easy runs and got on to the next session. So if you always have that in mind, that it's the consistency over many weeks, not just one session great and then not being able to recover. And if you kind of think about it like this, it always makes it a lot easier for me. If the questions are, can you run an easy run too easy? And can you run a hard run too hard? Always think of the extremes. So if your recovery run or easy run was just you going out there and walking to the supermarket, of course, then you can run an easy run too easy because you can walk to the supermarket and call that your easy run or recovery run. If you went super slow and you weren't pumping enough blood, oxygen rich blood around the muscles, then there wouldn't be the same level of recovery that if you went and did that exactly right. But you've also got to take into consideration how you feel. Can you run a hard run or an interval session too hard. Yeah, of course, you can run an interval session so that you're, you can see that gradually you're getting slower and slower and slower as, as the interval session goes on, let's say six times five minutes, and the pace difference between the fifth and sixth times the first and second reps is way away from the average for the session. And, and therefore you've not paced it right. And so it's going to take some damage. It's a little bit sort of like going in a marathon and, and running 30K on track and then the wheels fall off. It's gonna be, a difficult last 12 kilometers, you'd probably be able to get it done, but it's not ideal. Whereas if you've paced it properly from the start and you're finishing strong, that's a well-paced runner that is going to have a much faster recovery because unless they empty themselves in the last sort of two to five kilometers, then they've paced it right, where it's going to be a level of suffering, really. It's not pain, but suffering in the final 12 kilometers if you've paced it wrong. So in short, the answer is, yeah, think always, how do I feel? What's going on? Do I need a rest day today or can I go out and do something? I always like to get out of the door, get into the sunshine, get daylight in my eyes and then sort of get into my head, sort of the mental clarity and, and really thinking about the rest of my day. That puts me in a good place. Ideally, that means I can be going on the training schedule. But here's the thing. It's like anybody can type into Google, like give me a marathon training program and they can download it. And you could try to follow the days. If it was that easy, then that's all you would need to do. But the, the art of coaching or the art of self-awareness, and this takes time because you always want to do more. As a, as a runner, you always want to do more. The discipline is often holding yourself back and saying, actually, I need to walk today instead of doing a recovery run, or I need to run walk, or I need to do this a lot lighter, or actually, I'm not ready. 
another telltale sign, if the recovery run or the easy run was too easy, was you won't be ready for the next day's session. If that's a, re a recovery run into an easy run, you won't be ready to run a typical easy run. And therefore, it's going you're kind of on the back foot because you won't be ready to go hard when it really counts for the next key session or the next long run. And then all of a sudden, you're digging yourself into a hole because you'll want to try to do that long run because it's Sunday. You'll want to try to do that interval session because it's Wednesday or whenever you're doing your interval sessions. And so think of it in terms of how do I feel? And also, I want to piece together consistency over many weeks and months in order to peak on a set day to run a fast time for a race. But it's about the bigger picture. So I would personally have faith in the coach, but go back to the coach and say, what do you mean by you think it was too easy? Um, and keep track of your training. So although we've got like everything is automated and it just goes on to and you think that's good enough, you will not be able to track 10 days of how did I actually feel that day? I had eight and a half hours of good sleep. I felt great when I woke up, I had a good diet in the last two days. This is what I ate the day before. I drank as soon as I woke up, I hydrated, and then I went out and run, and I felt zippy in my legs. That's a completely different run to exactly the same easy run, exactly the same pacing, exactly the same heart rate, but you had a horrible sleep. And the diet has gone out the window the last couple of days because you had a work do, you ate some bad foods, whatever it might be, and then you had a couple of drinks, and then, but you still managed to carve it out. But it would have taken more out of your body because your body is not ready to handle that load. So you have to look at the whole thing, and this is where it becomes a little bit tricky. Whereas, okay, how is my weight training going to fit into that in order to propel me forward faster during my interval sessions, which will then have a knock-on effect for the rest of my running, but specifically my run, long run and the marathon pace or the race pace that I'm doing in my long run. So yeah, it's, it, 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 yes, in short, you can do your easy runs too easy, but get together with a coach and solidify that relationship and just say, what do you mean by too easy? What do you think, what should I have done? And what would that have looked at? Are we looking at the whole picture or are you just looking at literally heart rate data and, and the pace, which would have been slow because of these reasons? And then there needs to be an openness from you and how you track your data. And if it depends on how you look, you're both looking at the data. Um, it might be a, a piece of software, it might be an Excel spreadsheet, it might be a conversation. So yeah, good luck with that. I hope I answered your question. And if, I, if you have any further questions on that point specifically, pop them in the comments below.